At the start of the fight, designate a DPS to grab the Tempest Collar, a healer to grab the Void Stone, and a tank to grab the Trident. On Heroic, multiple DPS healers and both tanks will need to know how to use the relics. Through Phase 1, Unat will cast Obscurity once it reaches 100 energy. This will make the field to move around in smaller. The tank should face the boss away from the raid for his Touch of the End ability, and the other tank should taunt off after that. Oblivion Tears will happen. These are big swirls on the ground that everyone should avoid. If you stand in it, it'll heal the boss. The healer who has the Void Stone can use it to soak the puddles if they're overwhelming since the Void Stone negates the boss's heal, but it'll also make it so no one in the raid can take healing while the Void Stone shield holds. On Heroic, Void Crashes will happen in this phase and should be treated like the first boss. Soak them when they're small. Maddening Eyes of Nazoth happen and a portion of the room will have this translucent texture on it. Don't stand in this or you become hostile to your raid for an amount of time. There will be two beams that cross and move through the arena. You need to move through them, but this will put a dot on you, so run through one, wait for the dot to drop, and then run through the other. This is a good time for the tank to use the trident since the dot hurts. Everyone just needs to make sure they get into the trident and take enough damage for it to deplete or to wipe, like on the last boss. Overlapping this with the Tempest Collar is a good idea. Undying Guardians will spawn one at a time for a tank to taunt away from the boss because of Sightless Bond. DPS should switch to the ad, and the DPS with the Tempest Collar should use it when the ad reaches around 50% health since it damages the ad and will instantly kill it when it reaches 25% health. Don't kill the ads without Tempest Collar active. The Tempest Collar will also reduce everyone's damage done by 50% for 15 seconds and kill everyone below 25% health, like on the last boss. Each of these relics drop off their respective character once used and take time before they can be picked up. 2 minutes for the Trident, 1 minute for the Void Stone, and 30 seconds for the Tempest Collar. On Heroic, the characters who use the relics won't be able to use them again for an extended period of time. 3 minutes for the Trident, 3 minutes for the Void Stone, and 2 minutes for the Tempest Collar, so other players should pick their respective relic up. Phase 2 is at 70%. Eye beams and piercing gaze do not happen during this phase, as well as the area getting smaller from obscurity. A large portion of the room will be affected by this faint blue circle, just don't stand in it. Mindbender adds will spawn and need to be interrupted. They don't need to be tanked, just switch and immediately kill them. DPS these down with the Undying Guardian and use the Tempest Collar. When the boss reaches 100 energy, it'll cast Hysteria, which heals the adds and increases their haste. It's not interruptible, just be aware of it. Phase 3 happens at 45%. Undying Guardians still spawn and should be dealt with like the previous phases, with the Tempest Collar, but Mindbenders do not spawn. On Heroic, the eye beams happen during this phase. When the boss reaches 100 energy, Lunacy is cast and everyone becomes hostile to each other for 5 seconds, so don't AoE. Random players will get Insatiable Torment and can't be healed through conventional means. The only way they can be healed is standing near other players, which will siphon their health, so be aware of this. And that's the entire fight and the entire Crucible of Storms raid.